What's up YouTube? Today I wanted to take a look at the iMac G3 that I found at a recycling center about a month ago. I got it for $35. It came in the box. So let's go check it out, see what we get in the box. <clears throat> right here we got paperwork some other stuff let's see got the software right here let's open that up oh. <clears throat> got, you got some restore software iMovie 2 and Apple test hardware Installation. <clears throat> and then let's see what else we got. Got the instruction manual. The bottom, it was in perfect condition, but the bottom, my son got it wet, so. But it's still pretty good condition. Shows you about the Mac. I actually wish Apple still made instruction manuals like this they're just very informative and cool nice and big easy to read compared to the new manual manuals they're mostly just cards or little fold out posters you could say nothing like how they used to be <clears throat> Yeah, and that's that. Shows the other install more RAM. Uh -huh. Tells you how to sit at a desk and use the computer. That's kind of funny. Got a setup guide. Kind of interesting. <clears throat> Got your Apple stickers, like you do with any Apple product. I'm not gonna really look in the box because I already have, I already unboxed the iMac. It's actually sitting on my desk right now. We're gonna take a look at that in a minute. But here's the thing. You're going to be using VGA with it. It's supposed to come with the pro keyboard and mouse, but I ended up just getting um, the mouse and keyboard that came with the slot loading iMac. <clears throat> you can see right here. I just prefer these better because it just, it blends in more with the design of the iMac. But I'll get the iMac set up and then we'll take a look at that and there it is, the iMac G3. On the left hand side, there's nothing to really be seen. Come around to the front. You see there's supposedly two headphone jacks right there. Got your disc drive. <clears throat> slot loading got your two speakers Harman Kardon speakers come over here <clears throat> you see there's two fire wire ports a mic jack a speaker jack not quite sure what these buttons are for two USB 56k modem and ethernet and come around the back, there is um, the power. And underneath here is where you do the VGA. And way under that, you can see that little circle. That's where you unlock to replace the RAM and airport card. <clears throat> so, we're going to start this up now. Okay, we're going to boot it up here in a second. But before we start, I just want to let you guys know, I installed um, Mac OS Panther in there and one gigabyte of RAM and an airport card. 
even though I couldn't get the airport card to work. You guys might notice at the startup chime, you might hear the distortion. One of the speakers blown out just from me playing music for a few minutes, but let's start it up. We'll see how it, go how it works online too. Mm. You heard that speaker going out. The speaker was all blown out already actually. You can test out some websites like Google, maybe um, Nintendo.com or Yahoo, I don't know. We'll, we'll try a few websites, see how it goes. <laughs> see how this 14, 15 year old computer stacks up to today. Don't mind the flickering. That's just what CRTs do. I don't think I can get it any better better than that. Okay. The clock battery's out, so I'll have to put the time. Flickering is horrible. Let me see if I can do something. The only way I was able to kind of fix the problem was to lower the resolution. So you notice now the flickering ain't as intense as it was. So let's try to start going on the internet and see what happens. <clears throat> We're going to check it out. Yeah, I'm using a third party browser. It just has a little, it's a little better at its plugins and stuff because the Safari hasn't been supported for so long. So let's try Google. <clears throat> yeah, that's what Google looks like. Seems to be having a hard time loading. While we wait, I could probably show you guys. Um, yeah, this thing is loading very poorly. I'm actually surprised. I don't know if it's having a bad day, but I swear when I was using it the other day, it was running much faster than this but about this Mac just to show you what it is run version 10.3.9 on a 600 megahertz power PC G3 with 1 gigabyte of SD RAM I doubt this will make a difference but just for the hell of it let's see Resolution back. Sorry for the intense flickering. Just wanna, I just was curious of what would happen. <clears throat> yeah, it didn't seem to make much of a difference. So I'll put that back. So then you guys don't end up having a seizure over there. I'm surprised it's actually running slower today than it was a few days ago. Okay. Let's try Apple. Yeah, 
if you can see, it's loading the website very poorly. Seems to be mainly text based. It has gotten to a point where um, none of the plugins on this browser are not compatible at all. So at this point, the G3 is like basically useless. There's, you can get somewhat use out of it if you're really desperate to get online, but for the most part, it seems like you're out of luck. Let's try Opinion Outpost. I think out of all the out of all the websites, Opinion Outpost has loaded the best. Surprisingly, I guess they really want your opinions. Still get um, a lot of jerky movements. It's not it doesn't run that well, but it actually all the images loaded up correctly which I was surprised let's try Nintendo I think we're gonna get the same fiasco as we got with like Yahoo this is a pretty heavy site and as you can see it's mainly just text base not much is popping up on the screen. Let's see. Sega. Just out of curiosity. The Sega logo pop, popped up, but nothing really much else besides that. <sighs> Looks like the browser may have froze. This is MSN. This one actually didn't load up too bad. If you can see, there's images, shows the stories and the headlines. I know it's probably not sized properly like the normal website, but it almost looks like it's on a mobile site. I can't really tell though, but yeah, you can tell it's not sized properly. But hey, all the images and stuff work. I swear, I don't know if it's on the Internet Explorer or on the Safari, it actually l sizes it properly, but the plugins are actually older. I'm not quite sure. Let's see what happens if I click on Safari, just for the hell of it. No, it's also going to Apple.com. Wow, it actually loaded that up better than the Carmino. I am surprised. Look at that, guys. Let's try MSN again. Ah, uh, no, I think he got a little worse. <clears throat> Let's see, I think that's, oh, I got Firefox. Let's try that really quick.
about the same as the Carmingo browser, so that's that. It's not very usable at all, unless you're extremely desperate to use it. And just for shits and giggles, let's boot up um, iTunes to show you how retro it looks today. It looks so old school. <clears throat> that monochrome simulated display up here it looks entirely different than it does today I haven't clicked on iMovie yet let's see what that looks like there's Internet Explorer <clears throat> Wow, iMovie sure looks different as well. Uh, I guess the resolution ain't set high enough to run it. There's chess, let's check that out. Pawn E7 to E5. Interesting. I have to say, that's pretty cool. It's actually G8 to F6. somewhat um, three dimensional. Voice is kind of robotic and creepy, though. But yeah, that's chest. Let's see, I don't know. Calendar. See what that's like. Got the calculator. Let's open them both up. Probably really taxing the system right now, especially with the chest running in the background. Let's see if I can cancel that out. Quit. Calculator. Yeah, it works. Wow, um, calendar really looks different too. It's more straightforward than abstract. Interesting. Is there anything else to really look at in here? The stickets. That's pretty cool. Sticky notes. How about address book? Or iPhoto? Well, I think that's really all I've got to show on this thing. I don't got any games or any other software really for this computer, so I guess it's time to shut them down. But, oh, that's about it for today, YouTube. Until next time, thanks for watching.